And was this a case today of result being far more important than performance? Well, yeah, every day, every game we go out and we try and get a performance and a result, you know. We focus on each game as it comes and if we play well, then great. If we don't get a win, then great, you know. Win's a win at the end of the day. You've got a golf to a better start, though. One up after three minutes and yeah. uh, another goal for yourself. Yeah, that's two now. Slowly <laughs> going up. Um, yeah, I just got off. Lucky off a fumble ball in the box and got it into the back of the net, so that was a good start. But it wasn't a very pretty game, but you know, to get the win was, was what we needed. But one aspect of the game that really worked today was, was the back four. Uh, they never really truly looked like scoring, did they? No, we tried to keep them in front. Um, we're pretty good at heading the ball, three of us back there, so you know, we put our bodies on the line. And well, credit to us, we've got a couple of clean sheets now, and we're going to try and keep that, so yeah. A lot of people would have been wondering what would happen about scoring goals at the other end now that Sarah Wiltshire is out of action, let's say. But Annie's really stepped up to the plate, hasn't she? And a real poacher's goal from her. Yeah, she's uh, she was in the right place at the right time off of Blaise's shot, which was saved. That was a great save by um, Grace in goal. So, um, yeah, I know we've still got goals in us regardless of Sarah being out. But, yeah, we're just, we're just looking to go each game as it comes. I mean, yeah, anyone's got goals in them in this team. We hit the crossbar a couple of yeah. times there from two different players. So, you know, yeah, we've got goal scorers other than Sarah. And the squad's looking stronger all the time, isn't it? Kelly Aldridge came on yeah. and played really well today. You've got Lauren Townsend, the player of that quality, on the bench. So it really is a strong squad now, isn't it, he's built here? Yeah, it's a strong 11, and then we've got stronger people on the bench as well to come on and perform. So, you know, they did that today. And Kelly was great out on the wing, taking people on, you know, getting crosses in. And then Lauren was the same down on the other side, so... I mean, every, every player we put on the pitch is a threat regardless, so we've got, we got a strong squad going forwards and we're looking forward to the next part of the season. And after the Everton game a couple of weeks ago, a lot of people would have been looking to see how you reacted to that, but two games, two wins, six goals scored and unconceded is the perfect answer. Yeah, there you go. Um, that was a tough game to go away at Everton. Uh, yeah, we lost, which wasn't great, you know, but I feel like we needed that. We needed that kick to then get us back on track and see what it really took to stay top of the league you know it's a tough it's a tough league so each game you've got to go out and give it your all because any team on, on any day can get a result you know in a strange sort of way are Bristol City helping you the fact that they're winning going above you it's giving you that little bit of extra incentive to, to win the following day and go back above them again do you know why I don't even look at that I don't focus on any other team you know we just focus on ourselves take go into each game look to do, make uh, have a performance can't do a performance when we still get goals and win games and you know no other teams don't don't threaten us at all is it a little frustrated though now that you, you got a break for a few weeks and the, the fact you've got that momentum up again and you've got a tough game when you come back again with Sheffield away uh you could say that but you know we're still going to keep training and doing what we do best and hopefully come together as a squad when it comes around to Sheffield and we know they're going to be a tough game because they've got some points off of some teams that are quite high in the league as well, so it's going to be tough, but we're going to go out there and we're going to battle, and hopefully we can get a win again. At least you've got a few weeks now where you'll be on top of the table. Yeah. For anything, it'd be nice to look at for the next few weeks, wouldn't it? <laughs> for sure, yeah. Like the last break we went into, that was great. So, yeah, it is nice to look at that. It gives us, gives us um, motivation to keep going, keep going every training session, doing what we do. So, yeah, it'd be good to, be, to stay up there after the next break. <laughs> Anna, is it fair to say that it's probably one of those days for the team today? Uh, to be fair, it could be. Um, I, I think we just didn't create enough chances. Um, you know, they're a good team. They passed it well, um, better than what we did. So, in, in the end, they deserved the win. I suppose, possession, I think. I suppose yeah. it's the worst possible start conceding after three minutes when you're playing against a team that's flying at the top. I know, yeah, we did put ourselves under a lot of pressure conceding, um, something we should have dealt with um, on the corner, um, but it's, it was just one of them, and we just keep having to fight. I mean, we keep um, going down um, a goal. We did it against the Millwall, but we managed to come back, but against a side that's got full of confidence, and um, I think that's it was a tough, tough ask. It's especially frustrated at the fact that the team had picked up with the results in the last couple of weeks. It is frustrating because we were looking to push on. Um, you know, we were a bit, a lot more confident in getting those two wins. Um, it was frustrating, I think. But you know, they're a good side. They're 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 top. They're not top for no reason, and they played well. So. 
and then the second goal came just as you were enjoying your best spell of the game. Katie had a chance, nearly equalised, and then they scored the second about a minute later, so that, that minute, probably the pivotal moment. Yeah, I mean, if, if um, Katie would have scored that, uh, maybe the game would have been different, you don't know, but um, we didn't take our chances and they scored and they definitely took their chances in the game, so that's the difference. The team kept going well, didn't they? But it, again, they defended well, you just couldn't break through. No, it was tough. Um, they got quite a solid defence and we were just putting the balls over. Um, mainly, we weren't quite giving it enough to get over their heads. It was more on their heads, so they were just knocking it back. Um, we just didn't have enough uh, through balls and trying to work something different. Um, but it was tough, yeah. You've got a few weeks now to, to get things right and get, and hopefully get some players back from injury because you are missing players, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yeah, I think uh, Kate Wilkinson yeah. um, up top, definitely miss her, but she, she's got to work hard to come back from her injury. Um, yeah, we've got, we'll use the time just to get everybody fit and ready and prepared for after the uh, break and hopefully we can push on and get the results. How would you sum up the season so far? I mean, it's, it's, mm -hmm. you, you threatened, haven't you, to, uh, to break in with the big teams and you've given the top teams some good games. Is it okay, the injuries probably taking their toll a little bit? Um, I think it's, it's probably more inconsistent than anything. I think we do need to find a consistency in games. Um, I think it's more frustration. Because um, we know how good we can play, especially against the top teams, you know, like the likes of Bristol, we've given them two good games. Um, Everton, like, it's always been close. Um, but it is tough. Um, injuries do take their toll, you know, you can't help that. But we've got a squad that can fill spaces. Um, so hopefully, you know, we'll get everybody back fit, fighting, and then push on after the break. I suppose the major plus point has been the youngsters coming through because this has been a good experience for them, hasn't it? Oh, definitely. Um, likes of Grace, you know, she's come in, she's mm. been strong, um, especially scoring a goal against Millwall. Um, pleased for her and, you know, the others that have come in got minutes, you know, they've done well, um, which shows that we have got the squad that we can put players in when we need to. Um, but credit to them, they've worked hard and to get where they are and get those minutes, which is, uh, which is good.